Good morning, everybody. It's been so long, guys. I need to update you guys on so much stuff because I haven't vlogged in like a month. And so first things first, I'm gonna make my bed while I talk to you guys because lately have been on my clean freak era. Like I have to make the bed every day. I vacuum twice a week, laundry three times a week. Last month, I felt like I was finally coming out of my depressed era. <sighs> but little did you know, after that vlog I posted, I literally went back into the depressed era. Like I was crying multiple times a day. The only thing getting me through the day was my therapist. I feel like a lot has happened. So let's start from the beginning. I feel like right now in the world, there's a lot of uncertainty. Like not just with myself, but like with a lot of layoffs happening, there's a lot of just budget cuts with brand deals. The economy is not doing so hot, as you guys might know already. I knew this was gonna happen. Like, I knew that there was gonna be a recession in place. My dad, like, he's a big, like, economic guy. Like, he talks about this stuff, and he's telling me, like, since, like, four years ago, there's gonna be a recession one day. And I know there's a lot of people who lost their jobs, so I don't wanna complain too much because I know that I probably have it the most chill. But as a creator, I know a lot of you guys will relate, so that's why I'm sharing it. But I make money through brand deals and client projects. I have an agency where we work with brands, and brands just don't have as much money as they did one or two years ago. I really felt it starting in like May and April of this year. <gasps> yeah, we can go to coffee shop. I just made my bed. Yay! I'm gonna finish the story when I'm at the coffee shop, so let's go there. Oh yeah, by the way, Lately, I haven't been a matcha girly. I've been a coffee girly. And it's like actually crazy. Cause you guys know like I used to do my daily matcha. Well, you're wrong. I do a daily coffee now. So I'm gonna show you my favorite coffee ever lately. Like, so good. This is my favorite coffee. It's just an iced latte with white mocha. Oh my God. Okay, I brought a tiny mic from home so I could talk to you guys in the coffee shop, but Basically, I just haven't been getting as many deals like for my agency and my personal brand and it kind of just made me feel like I didn't have a purpose. <laughs> that I felt like started back in May, like just a little bit slow down of deals and then it really translated into June. I was dealing with like a lot of payment issues and brands, like brands weren't paying me on time. And then July, I kind of started to make peace with all of this, but it was still really rough. But at the end of July, I actually got a deal. Um, and that kind of made me feel a little bit better. It's really tough because I feel like part of me wonders, do I ever heal my relationship with money and uncertainty? Or is like the only way to solve it just getting a new deal? And what I learned is the answer is like, money doesn't solve it because like, no matter how much like safety net I have, like savings, I'm always anxious that I'm like gonna run out or something. And it comes from childhood trauma, but because I didn't grow up with a lot of money, so I feel like I'm always like running away from my childhood almost because I'm just scared to repeat it. Long story short, I'm trying to heal my relationship with money, with uncertainty, um, in despite of the actual reality. Like I don't want the solution to be getting more money, right? Because like that's like not gonna be long term. Like, what I've learned in this experience and what makes me feel better about all this is like money will return to you. Like you know, like more often than not, we'll figure it out, and then. In the meantime, how do you not put yourself in misery? Because that's what I was doing. Like, when there was no money coming in, I was putting myself in my mental misery, calling myself a loser, calling myself stupid, and like putting myself in prison. And the thing is, I, I had money, like I had savings. I felt like, you know, just loaded with a shit ton of cash on my bank account, but I have like assets and savings. So I don't know. That's kind of like what I've been up to. Anyways, I'm gonna journal. I'm gonna do my little three pages a day. You guys know I. I write three pages every single day. Whether it's about work or personal life, I think it's so important to write your feelings down. Your girl just uploaded it on TikTok. Um, I was at the coffee shop editing footage from my surf competition. I didn't tell you guys this on YouTube, but I've been training for a surf competition and it just happened last weekend. And go check it out on TikTok and Instagram because I talk a lot about it there. But if you guys are wondering why did I do a surf competition, well, it's been on my bucket list for three years and I have a really big fear of like people watching me surf. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of letting my fear of other people get in the way. So why not enter a surf competition and went to Red Bull Foam Wreckers, which is the event um, in San Clemente and I did it. Like I fucking did it. And like literally the past month was just me preparing for this competition. I was either making content about it trying to find sponsors for this series or just like working out and like surfing a lot. So honestly, like, sometimes I'm like, what do I do now? Because the past month I was just so focused on this comp and now I'm like, 
Hmm, what do I do now? So yeah, I just uploaded that. Go like and comment my TikTok and Instagram, please. Do that, I'll actually give you a forehead kiss forever. I really need help on engagement, okay? You guys know, I'm like trying to work on my relationship with numbers, but I'm still a shallow bitch and I need validation and I need numbers. So <laughs> please like and comment after this vlog, of course. It's just good content. <sighs> this is a hot. <laughs> one thing about me is, one thing about me, okay, um, is that I literally, like I don't like the brightness. Okay. M maybe it's because I surf so much, but like I don't like it when it's bright out. Like I like it when it's like no. dark or like cloudy. Cause I think it's cause I like look at the water all day. It's just because I'm like such a surfer, like, I'm just always in the winter, like, ah. <laughs> Guys, I've been watching way too much Tara's World. She's like this YouTuber who's kind of controversial, but I love her. Like, I think she's so funny, and I think it's rubbing off on me because I, I talk like her now. No, you're not. Yeah, I do. Tara's World does that. She's like, oh my god, like, I'm just such a surfer, and she'll just, like, do that ironically. And now I'm doing it. I literally just morph into whoever I'm watching or talking to. I would be talking to someone Australian and I'll be like, Yar, like, I'm from Australia too, but I'm not. And like, I do this all the time. Like, even if someone's not Australian, they have an accent, like, I just go into some accent. You guys are learning a lot about me. Guys, oh my god. There's a Michaels opening soon. <gasps> I love Michaels like every day when I was in school like after school I would go to Michaels and like make a little clay creation and just like buy like 20 cent clay and make videos on YouTube So like I love Michaels and the fact that there's one walking distance now. Oh my god. That's crazy Oh, they got mac and cheese. Ooh, we got chicken broccoli sweet orange chicken. Ooh I've been way too lazy to cook so we're at Whole Foods. The hot bar is like pretty cheap and it's really good food honestly like a good deal. I'll show you guys what I get in a little bit. Alright guys, I don't do you know how much everything was? 33. So each is like 15 bucks. Okay, so you we got, got chicken, sweet potato, a little fried chicken, broccoli, mashed potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. This is my meal. Okay, well. Mm. Mm. Okay, bye. I'm gonna eat this while watching a Tara's World vlog. I like watching her old videos lately. It's like one of my guilty pleasures. That or Trisha Paytas new podcast. I just like to let my brain rot when I eat. I don't know. And then I'm actually deciding to meditate because I feel like part of my anxieties the past few hours has been from not being super present. So I think I'm gonna meditate for a little bit and then maybe work and work out. We'll see. A few minutes later. I just finished meditating and I feel so zen. I follow the Wim Hof method meditation. You can download this on an app. And essentially you do like some guided breathing exercises and then you hold your breath. And you can see how long you can hold your breath for. And the idea is to stay really calm and slow your heartbeat during the breath hold. And my longest breath hold has been two minutes and 40 seconds right there. Today I only did two minutes average retention, but it's not bad. I just wanted to comment on something because I know some of you guys noticed it on my last vlog, but I have a thyroid that's bigger than normal. I realize that sometimes with this lighting, like I'll turn it off. Like sometimes if I don't have like the studio lights on, like you can't tell. Wait, you can still, oh my God, you can still tell. If I do this, it doesn't look as bad as like if I'm literally like doing that. Does that, do you see what I'm talking about? I got a biopsy or I got like a biopsy on it last year and they said this is benign. Like it's not cancerous yet. But then this year I got an ultrasound like a week ago to see what's wrong with this because I have to do checkups every year and I did get my results back and uh, It's not good um, Essentially this right side is fine, but the left side is growing But it's only grown like less than half a centimeter in the past year But like at my size my doctor said I should remove it Like I should get it removed because it could be a problem with my breathing But so far it hasn't affected my breathing like okay if I'm doing this it's relatively fine. It's only when I'm kind of like this where you guys can see the full mouth. Anyways, I'm not gonna stress out about it until like I talk to my doctor because I just got like an ultrasound. Like an ultrasound's pretty, I haven't like dissected like the actual mass because in order to tell if it's cancerous, they have to like grab cells from it, which is like a, when they take a needle and they stick it in your thing. So anyways, I will say though, like I know this is like the least of my problems because you know, thyroid, uh, the thyroid gland controls all your hormones and that's like really crazy, but like, it's really fucking annoying to wear necklaces. <laughs> I know it's so stupid, but like it is so annoying because imagine you have this little bitch ass hoe when you're wearing ne necklaces. I'm gonna go take a meeting. It's 1.52, I have a call at 2 p.m. 
But yeah, thank you guys for commenting. I know like a lot of you guys were concerned. I'm okay for now, so we shall see next steps. <laughs> guys, I'm literally... <laughs> I'm literally dead. I just had a meeting with my accountant who's really, really nice. Like, he's a sweet guy, but like, it's so funny when I'm at these meetings because he's like, yeah, like, let's just go over July financials. And I look at my July financials and it's like, so you made $10 in July. <laughs> like, bruh, like, he didn't ask questions on why I only made $10 in July, but I thought that was hilarious. Like, he's like, so you made this much in August, you made this in July, um, $10. And you have over 20,000 expenses. I literally looked at the numbers, I was like, damn, like, this is real life right now, like, $10. I mean, I wanted to talk to you about this because the reality of being your own boss and entrepreneur is there are months where you literally just make $10 and you have $20,000 of expenses. Like, I wonder in this guy's head, my accountant's like, does this girl have enough food to eat? Oh, ten dollars! So like the reason why I only have ten dollars in coming in July was being a creator, you kind of are reliant on checks that brands send you and sometimes brands are late or sometimes your payment won't come till three days after the contract ends. Good news though, guys, is I actually do have money coming in like this month. Like actually like five days, six days, so I can report something like, oh my God. It's been an interesting year. I don't know if you guys are also in a similar boat, but if you guys are wondering how I survive and eat when there's no money coming in, I have something called savings. I think I told you guys this in another vlog, but I have like three to four months of expenses saved up in my bank account. Um, I also have the crypto I bought in 2021. That's chilling. And I have credit cards. I'm actually pretty good with my credit cards though. Like I never really go over the amount that, you know how like you're supposed to only spend 30% of your credit limit? Like I never go above 30% and I always usually pay it off every month. So I don't really use credit cards that much. <laughs> I'm stressed out after that meeting. I mean, I'm not stressed out. I'm just more like <laughs> kind of embarrassed. Mm, okay, I'm gonna work out. I made another coffee. So I can work out because I'm not feeling like I want to work out, but these gains aren't gonna grow themselves. I want to show you guys. I'm trying to learn this new maneuver. <laughs> I'm trying it now. Holy shit! How did I? <gasps> yeah, I'm so tired. I really just want to lay down and not do anything. And not do anything. A few minutes later. I just finished my workout, but I wanted to show you the progress on my dragon swan because I think it was a lot better than the first clip. Tell me that's not a start. <laughs> so I just got accepted to this program on TikTok called TikTok Sports Community Creator Program. And it's essentially like a closed group of people who make sports content and I got accepted to it. And I don't know how exclusive it is. I'm not getting paid to do this, but I think if you post enough content throughout this program on your TikTok, you get a prize at the end. I don't know what the prize is, but if you guys can support my TikTok, that'd be great because I think if I get enough views or if I get the top amount of views, the prize gets better. And <laughs> if you guys saw my bank statement last month, I'll take any prize. <laughs> like if it's a $20 prize, that will increase my revenue up $20. Just kidding. Everything I set aside, like everything I said about having only $10 in revenue last month. I'm just really grateful to be here because I picked up a surfboard three years ago randomly during quarantine just to have, you know, a new hobby. And I didn't think I would get sponsors for my surfing content be in a surf competition, be in a TikTok athlete program, get all these amazing partnerships and deals. Like I didn't realize I would become a surfing creator and I still do other stuff. Like I still do consulting, but like I would say a majority of my focus is surfing, which is actually like, it's actually crazy when you think about it. So those who stayed since I was like 16, 17 years old, like thank you because I feel like you grew up with me. You saw me like in different eras. I feel like that's so cool. And like, I hope this shows you guys that if there's anything you guys want to do, but you feel like you're in a different career or you feel like you're in a completely different spot, you can do it. Because like, look at me. I literally went from someone pursuing social media marketing and dropping in a high school to being a surfing athlete creator. Like what? <laughs> like, I think that's kind of random and like still really cool and like i remembered when i was first doing surfing content like i got so much pushback because like people thought it was really random which it was but 
I'm glad I just pushed through because like I'm so much happier making content related to like other things other than just like marketing. I'm so much happier and like let's be real guys, like, it's cooler, like the content is more cool. I really can't thank not only you guys but the brands that support me because some of you guys that watch me end up like becoming brand managers at companies and like you guys are like hey like I remember you when you were like 16 years old and I reached out to my boss so we could sponsor you like that happened so like thank you guys because like you seriously like all of you pay my bills low-key <laughs> except last month all right guys you know it's time to wind down for the day when I turn on my little mood light I love this thing this was like $19 on Amazon and it just literally makes me so cozy so happy to get into bed i'm gonna just watch youtube sit on my bed and watch youtube i never do this i usually like don't allow myself to chill out and do nothing but i think i just want to do nothing and chill out and look at the sunset because like look at this freaking sunset that is that is so pretty holy shit but i decided that as a treat i wanted to give you guys some vlog footage of really funny moments with my friends because I didn't upload it for some reason and I just think it's hilarious So I'm gonna cue some vlog footage from about two weeks ago when I was training for my surf competition Hanging out with my friends. I just thought it was a good old time and like I feel like I'm a way different person When I'm like filming with friends when I'm alone. I'm just so much more like Feral and unhinged which I think is funny. So I'm gonna include that and I also went to red carpet with Red Bull uh, later that afternoon, so I'm gonna also include that footage because it was just so good, but it couldn't be in a standalone vlog, I feel like, so I'm just putting it in this one. I hope you don't mind me just combining footage, but both really okay. Just watch it. Okay, love you. Bye, Darmination. Comment below, Darmination, if you're so far enjoying this vlog. Bye. Flashback. Hi, guys. Welcome to another surf vlog. I'm here with some friends. Hey. <laughs> but guys, my friend Billy literally like not even two minutes after skiing him, he goes, That bitch has a fat ass. Wait, oh, I'm joking. I think that woman look very respectful. <laughs> we do not objectify women. <gasps> Wait, guys, can I tell you something kind of crazy me might look down upon? What? I'm sorry, I, I, as a joke, I did NPC TikTok live. Oh, do you know what that is? Not. Yeah, you don't know NPC TikTok? He doesn't know it. He doesn't oh know my god. It. He's not in the so, world. like, basically, there's this thing where people, like, go on uh, TikTok live and mm -hmm. they make, like, NPC noises. Like, you know an NPC? Like, a non playable character? Like, mmm, oh, ice cream, yeah, so yeah. good. Like, the people wandering around and you can't that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started to do that. So, like, the way people make, like, thousands of dollars doing this. And as a joke, I did it for two minutes. And, like, 2,000 people joined in my live. It's weird. All right, guys. So I surfed, showered, did some work. And now I'm getting ready for this movie premiere I'm going to with Red Bull. Can't believe I just said that whole sentence. I'm going to take you guys along and give you guys some life updates. Just because I know my last vlog, I said that I'm coming out of my depressed era. But honestly, I think I'm still depressed. I was just like literally looking at myself in my big mirror because I just wanted to make sure my powder was set correctly. And I just, like I saw my imperfections in my face and I just like, I literally like just a minute ago wanted to like yell at myself and be like, you're so ugly, your skin suck. But we're on the self love journey. So I said, no, we're not doing that today. We are not talking shit about ourselves like that today. We are going to be more compassionate because like I said, would I talk to 12 year old Jade like this? Would I tell her she's so ugly and her skin looks bad? No. The fuck? I'd be like, hey baby, like, let's get you like a little <laughs> mask, right? But I wouldn't be so rude. I think my demographic on YouTube is half girls, half guys. So I don't know if you guys care about this makeup stuff because I know half of you guys don't wear makeup. But if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how I do my makeup, comment below too because I will gladly. I will gladly do this for the girlies and the guys and the boys. Okay, so this is the problem I need to ask you. So uh, yeah. I won't show you, but I'm missing a toenail. <laughs> okay. And my all my shoes are open toned. Do I Which like toenail? Which toenail? My freaking toe. The big one? Yes, it's completely gone. Like it's disgusting. Uh. All right, guys, we have the look pulled together. I put a red bandaid on my toe, and it low-key looks like it's a nice little toenail. So happy with this outfit. Okay, I will vlog on my phone and show you guys the footage, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next